Today, I wanted to test out a new piece of kit that I've bought. It is a wood burning stove that I found on Amazon. Um, I've wanted one for a little while, whatever well, since I did my first practice world camp. Um, but I was looking for something quite specific and I'll go through the details of that in a moment. This particular wood burning stove I got off Amazon. It was between 20 and 25 pounds. So I did not spend a lot of money on it. That was part of my criteria because I have spent an absolute fortune on kit since I started this, this journey. And I just can't warrant <laughs> spending loads of money um, at the moment. So I wanted to give it a little go, test it out and see how I get on. So here I am in my local woods. I found a lovely little spot. And I'm just going to get it going and uh, cook myself some steak, <laughs> see how I get on. First time using it and I'll go through what I feel are the pros and cons, so the goods and bads of it and I'll link a description in the below, in below if anyone's, I'll link, I'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested in, in buying it. But yeah, this is the first, this is the first for me, cooking steak over flame rather than a uh, gas lit barbecue or coal. So yeah, we'll see how I get on. So it comes in this little bag. Uh, first thing I will say is that it is quite heavy. There are lighter ones out there. So I would put that probably in the con list. I think it weighs in just under a kilogram, about 850. Um, the other reason I chose this one is because I didn't want to get one that has loads of little slats so it slots in together. I wanted one that just popped up literally and that's exactly what this does so it opens up like that and then it's got this bit that pushes down inside which is where your wood sits the other thing I was looking for is something that came with a grill like top like this because I wanted to be able to cook the meat straight on there and I didn't want to be limited as to the size of pan that could sit on the top because some of them come with slats and you can't cook meat on there and um, yeah, you're limited with the size of pot that you can put on. It has this, I don't know if you can see this, this cool little door that opens up as well, um, which is great because then I can line up wood and things and poke it in when I need it, which I liked. The only thing I would say is to be careful of these handles because they will get really hot, obviously, if, if there's a fire in there. So, and it also comes with a little ashtray which slots in the bottom here and helps to stabilize and keep it fairly sturdy so all in all i love the design it's a great little setup like i say the only negative would be that it's a bit heavy oh and it came with this horrible blue plastic on it which took me ages to peel off and it was all in all the nooks and crannies and things so yeah that's the only thing. once that's off you don't have to worry about that again do you so I'm going to collect some wood now and uh, get going. I'm starving. And so I've got some really thin twigs to get the fire going. I'm not going to use that to start the fire. I've, there's some bracken over there, some dead bracken that I can pick up. Um, and then these are my second level twig i don't think i can go much bigger than that because of the size of the thingy because of the size of the stove um, and this is what i've got left to break up i'm not sure how much more i'll need but i'd rather have too much than not enough so i've got some foil that i'm going to lay down on the ground um, just to try and protect it a little bit from if any ash or the heat of the base of it should be okay because there's a there's quite a gap underneath where the air can circulate so it should be all right but i'd rather put this down be safe safe rather than sorry so i'm then going to place this on top and then i'm going to start by putting some of these small twigs just at the bottom Maybe a bit of bracken as well. So 
So in here I've got some dead leaves. Dead leaves and some bracken. I don't know if it's going to be a bit damp. It shouldn't be. It's been really dry. There we go. That's going good. steak has just got salt and pepper and oil. I don't want my flame to go crazy but I also don't want it to go out so I'm going to chuck a few more on. Remember this is trial and error for me. I've not done this before. Charcoal. Oh, but it is stuck to the thingy. happen there. That's all right, my steak's okay. Let's turn this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh, and again. kind of needs something to be able to hold it down. Right, is my steak done? And with my steak, I've got a lovely salad that I've made, which is tomatoes, cucumber, spinach, feta, um, seeds, and some balsamic glaze. But let's cut into this steak, shall we? I like mine medium rare, so. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. That is amazing. Oh, wow. So good. Beautiful. So good. Some salad. Got to have some rabbit food with it. Mm.
So I'm sitting here eating my food, which is amazing, looking at this and thinking, why is that grill bit keep coming off? And I realise these little handles on the side are actually for you to slot <laughs> the grill on, which should stop it falling off. So the idea of me bringing the foil was so that I can put the ashes in there. But the ground has been protected. Hardly anything has dropped out, which is good. Let's get rid of this. Oh, they are cold. Take them home. And no traces left. Amazing little contraption this is. I'm going to finish it all off with a homemade cookie. Doesn't get better than that. And of course, we will leave no trace. That's where I was sitting. No damage to the ground. So all in all, I actually think that that wood stove is really good value for money for less than 25 quid. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong.